Tom Scholz is totally one of the most underrated guitar heroes ever, and he happened to have written one of the coolest intros ever, and we're gonna learn it. So Peace of Mind, such a cool song. The, the main solo is also amazing as well. So if you guys wanna see a video on that, let me know. But today we're focusing on that intro solo. And before we get too far into the video, if you guys would, hit the subscribe button. If you're digging the videos, come hang out with us and uh, yo, let's learn some Boston. Now, it's pretty simple, but there's a lot of good stuff tucked away inside of it. So let's dive into this. The, the majority of it, you could think of it as being out of E major, or he's outlining C sharp minor, which is the relative minor of E. So it starts out like this. That was my guitar volume knob being all weird. Here we go. It starts out like this. And it sounds like he's sliding into that. Uh, sixth fret on the D. Now you're, you stay all in this one position right here. You go sixth fret on the D to fourth fret on the D. Then you reach up and you play a seventh fret on the A. Now you're going to go to fourth fret on the A. So next, what Tom does is he hits that fourth fret on the A twice. I instinctually don't want to do that but it's what Tom does, and Tom's the man, so we're gonna do it. Now, you're gonna hit that note again, and you're gonna walk up. You're gonna go fourth fret on the A, sixth fret on the A, seventh fret on the A, then you're gonna go to fourth fret on the D. I like to group things in four notes, so that's kinda why I went with that route. So. Now, you're gonna end on sixth fret of the A string. So you have. Already, it's such like a powerful phrase. Like you don't even need the chords behind it. Now the next little section here goes. You're gonna go seventh fret on the A back to 6th fret on the A, then 7th fret on the low E string, then 4th fret on the A. Play that one twice, just like you did before. Now the next section he leads with 7th fret on the A, then you're gonna go to 4th, 6th, and 7th fret on the D, and then back to fourth fret. So. And I like that because you can see how he's skipping intervals. Everything's not perfectly in a line. I mean, it starts out in a line, but then he goes, he jumps back. You know, it's, it's just that big interval shift that sounds so good. Now, the next section, Tom adds one of his trademark licks. He likes to kick off a lot of stuff with this little trill right there. And what we're doing is you're gonna go sixth fret on the D to fourth fret on the D, and then you're gonna hammer on back to sixth fret and pull back off to fourth fret. He does that in more than a feeling. He does it in the main part of this solo. It's all over the place. Now, from there, all the other parts are identical. He just adds that trill to the beginning. Until you get to the ending. So he does everything exactly the same. On the final time when you go back to that, where you want to do that lick again, he goes. He ends it on that 7th fret of the A string. So the trill part is right there, 6, 4, hammer on 6, pull off 4, then you go to 7th fret on the A, twice. So that whole time when he's doing this, think of it as he's outlining that C sharp minor, and then he, you just get that breath of fresh air whenever it goes back to that E at the end. 
And I think that's gonna be it. If you guys would, hit the subscribe button. Let me know, would you like to see a full breakdown of the main solo of Peace of Mind? Cause it's super, super cool. Really funky licks in there. And uh, yeah, I'll just see you all next time. End it bluesy, Tom Scholl style. <laughs>